Hello, welcome to another update on the uh, chaperone. So you can, as you can see right now here, I've done two bus bars for the electricity. These are the main power switches coming from, or wires coming from underneath the boat. The plug is right here and it's working extremely well, except for, I unfortunately pinched that, the wire or the light back here between the wall, lower wall, the wall on the uh, main deck and the floor of the boiler deck. So the lighting looks fantastic, to me at least. And let's go ahead and plug it in just so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can't really see anything from the angle it's at. You can see right here that down into the stairs. Let me move one of the cameras so that we can get a little bit better shot and you'll see what I'm talking about. So there you can see a little bit better what it looks like. This is going to be where the one of the arms come to power the stern wheel. The windows have all been, I put plastic behind them all and um, frosted them a little bit so you couldn't can't see what's going on in there. Very rarely will you be looking from back here and you can see the lights work really well. Up here, you can see barely, let me do a little bit of shaky cam here. So you can see that where the, I put the rails in, you can see the uh, steam generator. Smokestacks are in, they're just sitting in there, they're not in permanently in. And you can see right there, this brass tube is what carries the steam back. And you, you can see how these are lit. This one is not as far out as I wanted it to be. I thought they were for, the, the walls were further back than that. But it still does a little bit of lighting in this area. This area is not a passenger area of the ship, as is this, neither is this. You can see right here, these, um, what I call wood photo etch pieces, what they do is they'll hold the bull rails, which the bull rails are recommended not to put on yet, and I can see why, because they could pop off really easily, That hold, but these are gonna hold the uh, bull rails in place. And, you know, or not the, yeah, these are gonna hold the bull rails in place, and these fence pieces here would close off this area up here, keeping any cattle that you have on the ship up, well, enclosed within this area here. So let me go ahead and uh, switch cameras again. And I'm gonna pause for a second, bring over some other parts to show some issues that I'm expecting to experience on the build. Okay, so first we'll talk about the doors. I didn't wasn't thinking about it when I did this. I actually cut off, cut three of the or five of the doors out before I painted. They, I painted them separate. These are all the doors for the boiler deck. This is where the passengers will stay. No problems with them. I'm going to leave these center panels in like I did before. I didn't talk about that on the lower deck. These are going to have windows, which. I have cut the windows out of clear plastic, just need to frost them, but I'll frost them by sanding them, and I'll actually glue those into the holes on the walls of the boiler deck. These are the walls of the boiler deck, and like I said, those windows fit pretty well in here. These two are just windows. All the rest of these are doors, including here on the curved portion. And that curved portion is held in place by those two pieces. There's also going to be a curved area back on the back of the boat. But for right now, well, I can't, there's a curved area and that is actually going to be just 
glued down here. There are no supports because this is open. And then there's this, on this side, there'll be stairs. Problem I am going to have here is when I put this, put the walls on and they are flat. Grab the wrong camera, I believe, yeah. So there's a gap right here. And that's because the gap, the rear end of the ship, and it's my own fault for leaving this for 10 years. The rear end of the ship is supposed to sweep up further. You can see a slight gap here, the same one on the other side, but this is pretty significant. If I can get it to, you can see how much it is up here. So what I'm going to have to do is figure out some way, and it's going to be between, it's going to be a combination of putty and maybe just some wood panel put in here. To close that, I can actually get it a little bit closer. I'll have to work with it some. I may sand some down here, but then we're dealing with sanding off doors. With this being in the back of the ship, I don't think it's going to be that big a deal. Plus, there's going to be railings here. This is going to be blocked on this side at least, and this being the back side, unfortunately. The front side, the display side is over here. Same issue, but not the gap I don't think is quite as bad. I'll be able to do something with it. Cont contemplated routing this out, but I think it's best just to glue this on here solid and work with it there. Biggest issue I'm gonna have if I, if I with that gap is light blocking and the way I'm planning on doing that is I have some balsa that is pretty significantly tall that I'll just glue in there from the backside that'll block the light and it'll uh, work everything out. The display side, the outside is what is gonna be the worst part and you can see those are pretty significant. The bottom was not near as bad, swept up the parts. Maybe I got the front not down as far as I should have, but it'll work out. And then the net, the top deck is actually gonna sweep pretty, much, pretty significantly due to this here. And that was that is known as the hurricane deck. So the hurricane deck shouldn't, shouldn't be that big a deal. It'll get done, it'll look good, that's, Part of what I like about wooden kits is when you encounter issues like that, you find a way to work through them and you fix them. Hope you're enjoying this build. I'm having a blast with it. Like I said, I put this away for 10 years. Oh, something I didn't talk about, as you can see here on these posts, these rail or the posts, the top of these posts, which the bumper, or not the bumper, the uh, cap strip is on here. There's actually a seam here, can't see it very well. The bumper strip is gonna go on here. It's a lot thicker. These stick down a bit a ways, but these only stick, They, were, according to the instructions, they're only supposed to stick. Let me see if I can get a better focus on that. So those only stick 1 16th of an inch up, and they're supposed to be all the same. What I did was I took a piece of, this one's short, unfortunately, but I took a piece of what you would call sprue. That's out of the frame. But it's the leftover wood, and you can see it is relatively the same height. It's going to be close, and it, it's rather interesting, the perspective this camera is giving, because it looks like it's bowed up. It's not. It's completely flat. But see, but these will eventually support the deck railings for the hurricane deck, or I mean for the boiler deck. So, like I was saying, hope you're enjoying this build. I am having a blast with it. It takes a lot of time. It's a lot of details. There's a few things like here. I'm not going to go back and hit these with wood putty. They're fine the way they are as far as I'm concerned. Could have been better. It's the design of the kit. I've done other uh, steamships where the decks were a single piece like that a lot better, but I know what they were trying to do here. They were trying to get the curve, the upward curve, which the actual chaperone has a pretty serious upward curve, same as uh, another 
one of the famous ones is the Robert E. Lee. It's got a pretty serious curve on both ends. Looked at getting the uh, at getting that one, but it's pretty pricey. And also, you can see here the uh, pieces that are going to support the um, full rails. So, like I was saying, I hope you're enjoying this build. Like, subscribe, come on over to Hobby Time Modelers and on Facebook and YouTube, see what we're doing, and I will catch you on the next video. Have a great day.